Buffett once said, it takes 20 years to build a reputation and five minutes to ruin it. You, General Mills, have been building your reputation for over 150 years. But with such a great reputation comes great vulnerability. And right now, you are vulnerable. The celiac and gluten-sensitive community no longer trust your gluten-free label products. And when individuals with celiac disease consume even the smallest amount of gluten, they will experience severe physical symptoms that can last up to one week. Some have even reported experiencing severe anxiety and depression that can last up to three weeks. Three weeks. This is why it is crucial for these consumers to be able to trust the products that they are consuming. And we do not believe that you are doing an adequate job addressing the needs of this population. Welcome. We are Evolve Consulting, and we recommend that you, General Mills, repositions your brand identity to emphasize a new commitment to ensuring the health and safety of all of your consumers. We strongly recommend that you update your oat processing method to guarantee that your gluten-free labeled products, such as Cheerios and Lucky Charms, live up to the certification and are indeed safe for all of your consumers to to enjoy, including those with celiac disease and gluten sensitivities. First, Nandana will explore the opportunity that you have. Gabby will lead you through our response. Aaron will discuss marketing. Jax will walk you through our implementation timeline. And Nick will present on the financial implications of our plan. I will now hand it over to Nandana, who will discuss your opportunity. Thank you, Melanie. The unfortunate reality for many people is that they have to be conscious about the food they consume as a result of a negative bodily reaction to gluten. One in 100 people in the world have celiac disease, a serious autoimmune reaction to gluten. This accounts for about 3 million Americans. And this number is growing every year, so much so that by 2050, it's estimated that 12 million Americans will suffer from this disease. This doesn't take into account those with gluten sensitivity, however, which accounts for 6% of the population. So in total, 23 million Americans experience some sort of negative reaction to gluten. However, while General Mills oat-based products are currently labeled as gluten-free, they unfortunately are not celiac safe. In fact, the Canadian Celiac Association recommends that those with celiac disease or gluten sensitivity do not consume General Mills oat products. And that label that you see circled in front of you doesn't even show up in Canada. This has caused problems in the past for General Mills, such as back in 2015, when you had to recall 1.8 million boxes of Cheerios due to a sorting error that made it so that your oat-free products and gluten-free products were not quite so gluten-free. More recently, there have been numerous online articles, blog posts, and even petitions started as a result of this issue. The root of the problem is cross-contamination. To explain how this process works, the gluten-containing grains and gluten-free oats are transported together and then optically sorted based on length, density, and color. However, the physical characteristics of these two groups are very similar, and so mistakes are bound to happen. As well, broken off pieces of the grains can fall into the oat batches and contaminate them. As a result of this cross-contamination, General Mills' reputation is at risk, and we believe that so much more can be done to ensure that your products are actually celiac safe, which Gabrielle will discuss now. Thank you, Nandana. So first, General Mills must fix the issue at hand with an oat testing process. Then you will take your process a step further by ensuring its sustainability, and finally, you will make known the changes to your manufacturing process with a new marketing strategy that will also help you to shift your brand identity. General Mills will reposition its brand to reach a new consumer base by adopting an oat purity testing process, similar to that of Quaker Oats. Quaker's process has been commended by sites such as Gluten-Free Watchdog and Celiac.com. Once implemented, it would test a sample from each lot of oats prior to use in any of General Mills oat-based cereals for the parts per million of cross-contamination with gluten. If the parts per million exceeds a certain amount, the entire lot would then be discarded. No cross-contamination would then occur within any of General Mills' gluten-free labeled products, which would eliminate risks for gluten-sensitive consumers and risk to the company's reputation. If you utilize a more comprehensive testing process, you will not only be celiac safe, but you will also address other threats to General Mills' growth. Your process will differ from Quakers in that you'll be able to repurpose your discarded oat lots, which will be donated to your dairy suppliers for cattle feed. Instead of grinding the entire lot at once, which makes it so that your oats cannot be repurposed, you will only cut and flake the samples until the entire lot has been deemed safe. This gives General Mills an edge in sustainability while also helping to improve relationships with suppliers. To improve relationships with consumers, you will employ a new four-pronged marketing plan, 
that will highlight the repositioning of General Mills brand surrounding the health and well-being of its consumers, especially those with gluten sensitivities, while also helping to remind consumers of the values that have always lied at the core of the company, such as putting people first. And now Erin will take you through marketing. Thanks, Gabby. Here, we have the percentages of consumers who buy cereal on a regular basis. As you can see, more than half of all of these age groups consistently buy cereal products. This means that General Mills needs to target all of these age demographics in order to effectively market your product. In order to ensure maximum success of our solution, we've developed a four-pronged marketing approach. This approach includes celebrity endorsements, a social media campaign, traditional advertisements, and a pop-up shop exhibition. First, we plan to partner with celebrities who themselves are affected by gluten sensitivity or celiac disease, including Drew Brees and Zoe Deschanel. These celebrities are incredibly popular with much of our target audience and will give our product even more credibility as well as increase your brand association in the minds of consumers. Our social media campaign will focus on, will center on the hashtag cheering together to foster a sense of community and togetherness between both your brand and your consumers. We, we will use a multitude of social media platforms in order to further segment your target market. Instagram and Snapchat are used by more than 60% of 18 to 29 year olds. So we plan on running advertisements that focus primarily on Zoe's endorsement as she is incredibly popular with these age groups. On Facebook, as 79% of adults ages 30 to 49 use Facebook every single day, we will run advertisements that appeal more to these middle-aged consumers. These ads will stress the safety concerns of why your Cheerios are the safest they've ever been for both gluten sensitive and celiac diseased consumers. Next, we plan to run more traditional marketing advertisements, such as box endorsements and uh, tr uh, TV commercials. This will target mainly the oldest demographic of your consumers, ages 60 and older. These ads will focus on the togetherness of why your Cheerios can bring it, uh, community to a family environment. Lastly, we would also like to put on a multi-city pop-up shop for the launch of your new product. This would include interactives featuring colorful rooms and light displays, featuring all 16 flavors of Cheerios. Here, attendees can promote the General Mills brand through social media posts using the hashtag cheering together. Now, Jackson will walk you through the implementation of our solution. Thank you, Erin. Now that we've detailed what our proposed solution will look like, we'll cover the cost and timeline of implementation. In June of 2021, the start of your next fiscal year, you will begin to make the necessary changes in your factories. This will include installing new equipment and training employees to use this new equipment. Evolve estimates it will take nine months to fully install this new oat testing process and ensure that it is working effectively. We also estimate the cost of installation to be approximately $1 million per factory, resulting in a $25 million cost for manufacturing implementation. During these nine months, you will simultaneously be developing any necessary materials for the marketing campaign. This will include securing celebrity endorsements, shooting new TV and social media ads, and developing the pop-up shops. We advise that you allocate an additional $15 million to your existing marketing budget to cover the cost of these new promotional tools. And after these initial nine months, the campaign will be ready for launch. In February of 2022, the new ads will begin to roll out and all boxes of General Mills oat-based cereals we marked with a new label highlighting that they are completely celiac safe. The next month, in March, the pop-up shops will open in cities across the country and will remain open every weekend throughout March and April. Now, although the pop-up shops will be closed by the end of April, the TV and social media ad campaigns will continue to run through February of 2023, completing a full year since they were first released. All in all, our proposed solution will take 21 months to fully implement. However, this initial investment will set General Mills up for success for years to come, which Nick will go into more detail on next. Thanks, Jackson. Now that we covered how our solution is going to help solve General Mills' reputation problem, Let's discuss General Mills' financials, because while it's important to ensure that General Mills is a safe and transparent company, it's also important to ensure General Mills' financial success. Our proposed implementation plan will cost $40 million when taking into account the $25 million manufacturing costs, which will be seen in our factories and in our oat sorting process, as well as a $15 million increase in marketing budget. Now, how will General Mills make this money back? Well, the gluten-free market is expected to grow with a compound annual growth rate of 9% between the years 2020 and 2024. If you, General Mills, take the proactive step to get in front of this growing market, we believe that you can see the same growth in your profit. In fact, your numbers for 2020 are projected to be $198 million. With the addition of the 9% from the gluten-free market, that number could rise to $257 million by the year 2023. This means that will be an aggregate increase of $59 million. Keeping that $59 million in mind, 
This means that by February 2023, our, implement our implementation costs will be covered, and by the end of 2023, you will see a $19 million return on investment. Now, Melanie will take us through what we covered. Thank you. We began with Nandana, who explored the opportunity that you have to repair your reputation. Then Gabby led you through a response to update your oak processing method. Aaron discussed our four-prong marketing approach to guarantee that all of your customers know what you are doing. Then Jackson walked you through our 21-month implementation plan for manufacturing changes and marketing cha changes. Lastly, Nick discussed the financial benefits that this will have for you for years to come. If you reposition your brand identity by updating your oat processing method, you will be able to heighten your sustainability through donating your contaminated oat locks to your dairy suppliers. This will also increase brand awareness through our marketing campaign and improve customer loyalty because now the gluten-free consumers can now trust your products to be gluten-free. Consequently, this will increase your profits and General Mills will be able to repair the reputation that you have been building for 150 years while also guaranteeing that your products are safe for for all of your customers. So we can all be cheering together for Cheerios. Thank you.